something has happened um, across the street, on the side of me, in the back of me, in front of me. Everywhere. Only on two neighbors are fed up and looking to put a stop to a spike in burglaries in the historic Beverly neighborhood. CBS 2's Jermon Terry is live at the 22nd Police District. Police arrested one man, but that isn't enough for some homeowners, Jermont. Yeah, Brad and Erica, that's because homeowners believe that there's many people behind these thefts. Just last night, a couple new to the neighborhood got an alert from their security system, and they looked outside and found a man lurking, trying to come inside. It's one of many scary moments for Beverly residents. Nestled in the southwest side of Chicago sits the historic Beverly neighborhood. Most homeowners move in and never leave. This neighborhood has always been one of the safer neighborhoods of Chicago. But after calling Beverly home for 44 years, Jayana Sims isn't feeling the safest, especially after many of her neighbors are reporting burglaries. Because it's not the norm for Beverly, and it's every day almost. Many of the burglaries involved thieves breaking into garages overnight or early mornings. They can go into the house because some of our garages are connected to our homes. This week, several neighbors reported the man lurking in backyards near 90th and Hoyne. So the alarm system went off. It scared them away. Chicago police responded. They arrested Gregory Donner for trespassing. The 19th Ward Alderman Matt O'Shea says Donner was on parole for a previous burglary, but this arrest doesn't put neighbors at ease. But the data is there. CBS2 analyzed the data and Beverly saw burglaries spike to 25% in 2019. It's the most reported burglaries in this community since 2016. The numbers show the uptick in burglaries, 54%, occurred between August and December of last year. It's leaving neighbors to take an extra step to protect what they own. I'm even willing to do a petition with my neighbors um, just to see if they want to privately pay for some type of security. I'm told one homeowner who is out of town for the winter has already hired a private security company to sit outside their house at night. Many of the neighbors in that community are hoping that this does not become the norm. They just want to see more patrols by police at night. Reporting outside the 22nd Police District, Jermont Terry, CBS 2 News. Brad and Erica. Jermont, thank you.